Okay, it's six o'clock, so I'm gonna go ahead and call the meeting to order. I haven't heard from Sandy. It's so, so. quiet. I mean, I was like, where is everybody? It's we'll start with the pledge and then. Gene, you want to do the Okay. We'll start with the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the blessings that you've given us. I do thank you that you spared our community over the weekend, even though some of our neighboring communities weren't spared. I pray, God, that you stretch out your hand and touch these people that have been affected. And God, help us to be able to help them too. And God, I pray that you guide us in the conduction of the business tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Good job, Tim. All right. I'll welcome everyone out tonight, and we will get started with the approval of minutes. I make a motion we approve the minutes. I second it. We have a motion, a second. Those in favor, signify with I. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to second it myself. I thought, wait a minute. Post same. Motion passes. Uh, pay the bills. I, pro I, I want to make a motion. We pay the bills. And I'll second it. Motion is second. Any further discussion? Hmm? Can you second? No. I didn't think you could. <laughs> no, it's you. It Those has to be me and you. <laughs> it's me and you. Signify with I. Uh, Opposed, same. Motion passes. First item is Walmart pass to invoice. I oh, won't we'll take away until next meeting. We had sent out some invoices to a few businesses on some charges, and they get to pay, but want to table that at the end. Okay. I'll make a motion. We table this. Till <laughs> yeah, the second. Meeting. Motion is second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. That motion passes. Next item is transferring SBOG grant funds into tourism. This was for the second round of money that they received. Oh, we did the first one, but they received an additional. Right, but I thought we did Yeah, I thought, I thought that was in the Amy, last meeting. Amy said it wasn't in the motion, in the minutes to okay. do the transfer. That sounded like an Amy thing, but I thought we did. Yes, that's fine. <laughs> she so, wants the language, I'm sure. She wants it in there. there that we approved her to transfer that. So if we could get that in the form of a motion, that'd be great. Okay, I'd like to make a motion we transfer the SVGO, BOG grant funds into tourism. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. We did Post do that last same. month, didn't we? Well, that's why our books stay so clean. If Amy didn't see it or don't have it. She wants to make sure she covers herself. And all her is coming in, she's like, here it is. So. I know we talked about it, but I, 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 I don't do know that there was a motion made in second. I thought we did it, because I, I remember that was uh, doing the transfer of the funds last month. Uh, next item is the uh, opening of bids for the cemetery lawn care. Now, these two go together? Is that what you're yes. telling me? The only reason I know that is because I saw her sit it down there. Which is Jordan Overstreet. Let's see, he's got, he we just got done. <laughs> kidding, I'm just kidding. List of available equipment and certificate of insurance. Are they required to have that, the certificate of insurance? Yes. Okay. And his bid is lawn and order, weekly mowing, and bi-weekly weed eating. $1,000 plus 6% tax. Yeah, I was going to say, we are I didn't even know you did tax on the services like that yet. I know they tried it, but anyway, $1,000. Right here, I'm going to open the cemetery bonds right here. You're almost done. I'm joking. We tabled the Walmart pass dues. Yeah. I wanted to ask about that anyway. Uh, next one is from Gary's Cut and Trim Lawn Service, Justin Gary. Is that D and is that Dee Dee's? Connie's son? Oh, Dee Dee no. Gary's? No, he's a Gary that lives on the corner of uh, Barnes and up here. I just knew his name was Justin. So. Yeah, yeah. Dee Dee and, and whatever her name is. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's not Dee Dee and Gary. And, uh, it's a different Justin. There's two Justins. Okay. Certificate of insurance, list of equipment. 
and his is bid is one $1,045 per week. Whoa. <laughs> 1,000 1, plus 6% tax, but we're tax exempt. So we don't have to pay it. Who was that first? First one was Jordan, Jordan Street. This one. I'll say the third one. Specs, listed equipment, sharp lawn care, got their employees. This is Jason. And his bid is $975 a week. Grief. Weekly is needed mowing for Sunnyside Cemetery property, trimming every other mowing and all paved areas to be cleared of clippings. Did we require uh, like references or anything on that? I know two of the three. I, I don't. I don't know the one, but I know two of the three, and I, I like both of them. I don't have a problem with it. Well, but did we require any of them? For my them? suggestion would be since they all are within sixty dollars of each other. I think we were to sit around table and this. We have time. Yeah, I mean, we got plenty of time. I think we need to let Larry. Kind of do an interview process with all I think three so of them. Too. If that's I think the wise idea. Well, I mean, we're not going to. All three bids are very, very good bids. I don't yeah. have a problem with it, but I want to make sure we get the right one. And I don't know that it makes a difference. I but I just like to see which one. They're, they're within seventy dollars. Three bids within yeah. seventy dollars yeah. of each other. So it's pretty fine. All right, so let's table that. I like most to table that till next month. Let we'll Larry talk to him. Larry, you take care of the. I don't have to make a motion or not. I just say we table it. Yeah, I, I want that another formal motion. Yeah, we have a second. I second. second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? No signal. I would die. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Uh, Mike, give me him. Did a good job last week at the dinner. You did a good job. Oh, yeah, sure did. Yeah. You always do, but I thought last week you did a really good job. I need you to send me a picture or somebody sent me a picture so we can put it on the city Facebook page about okay. the officer of the year. Yeah, we'll get Tommy's If you take care of that for me, send that to me, we take care of that part of it. I saw one first night. I think it's the first time I missed the first night. Oh, yeah. It was good. It was very good. Uh, Tommy, officer of the year. It was good. I've got that written down here, so thank you for it. Sure, what we need to do, but Amy had mentioned something about she has a check that has to do with that barn annexation, and she's not sure what she needs to do with it. So it'll come to another count, I guess, after the annexation passes, correct? Well, it's already passed as soon as it okay. all it has to do is the paper. So we can go ahead and open up the account. It's got to say barns crossing and something other fund or whatever. <laughs> what would you put? I uh, don't no. um, some kind of trustee account in it. It's a, yeah, it's definitely a trustee account. I didn't bring that with me. Um, Can we, Barnes Crossing wait. Trust Fund. Why don't we just do that? Trust Fund. I, just I do that. It's what. Well, it's on the. It's on the. It's agreement. on. I was gonna say Larry's got because he sent it to me. What it yeah, was. Yeah, but I it's don't. on the agreement. So just, you just know you know what to put. So let's just open up the account. Okay. Same. Same. You, you are putting it in the limestone, right? I think so. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and do that in the form of a motion on opening that account. Yeah. Move to open the account for the Barnes. Second. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Got Amy's question answered for. That's pretty easy, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. I asked her if she wanted to come from me tonight, so she could ask, but she said no. Yeah, uh, yeah we hear that a lot from Amy. <laughs> Jim, do you have anything? No, not really. Um, things are, I think things have been going pretty smooth, with, as smooth as it can as a sewer up until. We do have a disagreement if we ever do. Okay. Charles? I've been here, but we have. Don't worry about it. It'll happen. <laughs> yeah, it will. <laughs> and no, then we'll I, all be mad. I apologize for my tardiness, but I, 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 I've been good. Kevin? Uh, two things. One, parade was great. I loved it. But there's one thing I want to talk about, and that is the Christmas lights on the poles. 
We're can we update that? We're way ahead of you. We okay. have a group that's we, gonna, we got, you got a group that's looking. We're going to meet in January. And because, number one, we need lights all the way up Main Street. And I don't think we have them all well, the way up Main Street. The reason we don't have them from Goshen to 62 is because since they did the three line up through there, the trucks hit them. They, they've really? That's why, that's why yeah. we put putting any in that all area. I didn't know that. That does make sense. That's, you know, that's we, why. we possibly could go above the telephone or power lines and put the bracket. But I would like to see the, the lights kind of condensed. You know, when, at one time we had over 60 lights and it stretched from Young's all the way to McDonald's. Yeah. That is just a killer for us to get up and maintain. Can we, can it's I all condense, about y'all, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can we not condense it just for the route of the parade? Well, for your benefit, I would say you, no problem. But you know what? You, you, not, you don't get to hear what the people say that when they're not out to other places. So for, Didn't some people help pay for some of them? Uh, so that's the a story I've always got. Yeah, I pay they for those. They're expensive. So uh, when we hear them say those things, we have to, can't turn around and say, well, our, it helps our city boys because they put them up because that's labor intensive. Well, I don't really care. We, I help pay for them. We, I want them up for my business. We can, we can take them to them. We can take them on the pay <laughs> And that would go over so real mean. good, too. Just because, so just because mean, you mean. donate money to help pay for something doesn't mean it gives you a lifetime luxury of... Uh, Larry, you live in a la la land somewhere. Yeah, I see that. Exactly, exactly. But I'm sure that's not going to work. It could. <laughs> <laughs> not, You're not so in, bad. In the Larry, Larry he, world, yes. That's all I have. We had somebody ask about. They saw something about a Hallmark city. <laughs> and they thought we could turn the Beaver Dam into one, and they wanted to get together. To a Hallmark for, city. Yeah, look for oh, next year. And I'm like, gosh. I'm all about it. If somebody's willing to come up and. Well, you know, have y'all? And, and it was I, it was a resident and a business owner here in town. Have you so. been out past uh, where Wendy's is, out by the rest home out there? Have you seen what they did with that little thing that sat up front, that little gazebo? You need to go by and see that. At the rest home. I'm sad. Have you seen it? I drive by it every It's day. gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> Why can't we do that? That's what I wanted to do, something like that, to the bridges down there on the rock trail. It is so pretty. I know it's more money. I'm going to spend more money, Larry. But I'm just saying, uh, you, you have to do it. I'll point you in the right direction. You do it. But, yeah, if you, you go out there and look at it. It's just a matter of lighting. But, yeah. man, it just it really is pretty. It's the cutest thing. And it's, it's not near as big as our bridges, but it still is cute. Oh, we, got, we don't have pirate bridges. I don't care. You can run a line. Schedule to tell you to get to a pole line. It, it's been a problem, too. <laughs> tell you and them poles. I don't even want to talk about them poles. Larry, I wish you'd hurry up and get stuff done. It just bothers me. That's all I have. I just tease me. But if you get a chance, go out there and look at that. No joke. It is cute. You'd love it. I drive by it. I can't believe I haven't noticed it. you got to look at it. It's so cute. It's, I saw it tonight for the first time. I was like, oh, it's just gorgeous. I love it. Larry, do you have anything? Our sanitation truck is back in Louisville, being worked on. Thank you, Senior Bills. Last month, the month before, we spent twenty-one thousand on fixing it. Mm -hmm. same, same things happened to it, so it's back a little. Uh, same thing happened to it that they fixed the last time. So. That truck's so. not that old. Six years. Is that long ago? I think so. I wouldn't. I'm like, yeah, I thought it was about three. <coughs> I thought it was two or three. Yeah. So we're, we're trying to figure out what's going on with it, and weighing options, and seeing what we've got to do. Luckily, we kept our old truck back there. And then we in. And your dump truck. <laughs> yeah. Well, couldn't you use the trailer too if you had to? Yeah. Oh, the only use that. We would have to throw it up as high if you did that. You don't use that new trailer. Get it on nasty. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that I have. Is that all you have? AV, you have anything? Are we going into closed session or not? Uh, yeah. I think we need to. Yeah. No, that, that, <laughs> uh, we're not moved to go in closed session. Wait, wait a minute. I got three oh. items I want to go ahead oh, and get okay. cleared out so we can be well, done. Well, we're only going to do one. We're only allowed one. Pick the best one. Uh, Number one, I would like permission in a in form of a motion to apply for a cybersecurity grant through KLC. This weekend has been an eye-opening experience for a lot of people. And uh, I met with, and I'll, I'll talk a little bit about the tornado assistance too. Yesterday morning, on uh, about 7 o'clock yesterday morning, uh, I got a call from Doug Goforth, who's with the insurance services for KLC Insurance, on their way to Dawson Springs, Princeton, and Mayfield. And he had insurance forms for the for claims and he said they had called him and you have to have a separate form like if we had that here we'd have to have a separate form for city hall and a separate form for the fire the station and, all that. and a separate form for the ground they had the same thing and he said i have a, about a dozen of them but he said they just got a call from mayfield they were of course they were learning more as they went through 
they had six different pump stations that were damaged or destroyed. So they needed seven just for the water department in Mayfield. And he said, I've got 12, and I've got also have Dawson. And and Dawson so he wanted to know if he could stop here and have some copies made. And I said, well, I, absolutely. I said, if I can do you one better, I'll meet you out there at the plant. You won't even, you'll, won't even have to leave within sight of the parkway yeah. to get copies made. We went out there and made about 30 copies for him. But he showed me pictures of... Mayfield City Hall is three walls standing, and that's it, nothing. Uh -huh. He said there are no files, there's <laughs> nothing left. Yeah, that was the other thing. We were talking about that yesterday, too. And Anybody had a doctor's office that was destroyed, their files are gone. If they weren't digital, they're gone. Well, Princeton, as of yesterday morning, Princeton had not even been able to get to their city hall. Oh, gosh. Well, and they had Dawson Springs couldn't either. Well, as yesterday morning, they had not even had contact with the Dawson Springs mayor. They had, couldn't get in contact with him through mm -hmm. any... So Michael Knight contacted me out of Madisonville, he pastures Covenant Community, and I know we have two large national organizations that are coming from outside. One of them is called Something Cajuns. They'll even bring cadaver dogs and everything. They'll be setting up services right. from, from Mayfield to Bowling Green. Well, and they've asked, and I, we've offered, uh, we've got, I talked with Larry, we've got a generator, I've talked with Mike, we've got a, an extra police cruiser. Mayfield called Friday night, about 10 o'clock, reached out for help. And I talked with David Stevens, and it's like, as bad as it made me feel, I said, we can't right now because we're in a direct line of this. We don't know, yeah, you don't know what's going to happen here. And then Charlie kind of took it out of my hands. He said, nothing's leaving, no emergency leaves the county without his okay, yeah. which was good. Was nice, but, <laughs> but we felt the same way. And, and, but they had, I think they had one police car. You may know more. It may have been two. They weren't sure. The only thing, only police car that survived was what was out on patrol because everything was in a garage, and the garage imploded in on top of all of them. They lost fire trucks and all their ambulances. Oh, gosh. Uh, you know, and it's, so they were asking for help, and we had to turn them down right then. But, yeah. Now, the ambulances, we had ambulances at Madisonville by mid-morning Friday because we were very fortunate with no injuries here. But... We may have an extra bike hope somebody may end up needing and some uh, truck or two that we well, may send. Well, so what's the cybersecurity thing you want well, to Well, that's coming up. I got to look at these city halls that are gutted. Our cybersecurity is Amy takes a stick home with her accounting stuff on it. One of those little <laughs> things to plug in. I, you had emailed me about that, and I've checked into it a little bit. Um, and there are five things. I can't remember off the top of my head. There are five things you have to have qualify for the cybersecurity grant through KLC, and we don't do any of them. That's what I need to see. Yeah. But I talked to him yesterday. There may be some changes on some of this after what's happened. And I talked to Alliance a little bit about what we would need to do to start having those five things to qualify for that grant, and he he talked to me a little bit. I have some information, but it would take some time. Is that there. something Josh could help you with? Well, what they, they've got and what I would like to do KLC has this uh, program called IT in a Box. We talked about it here. They asked us. Yeah, uh, they that. asked us to be one of the pilot programs, and Keith Commissioner Dale at the time didn't think we needed to do that because there is a monthly subscription and it's not cheap. Was, Everything's cloud-based. Yeah. It is protected as far as cybersecurity. That's where he said these grants might can come in. He said it may pay for four or five months of the I think it was fee. Up to fifteen thousand dollars. That was the highest you would get for the grant, and you're looking at like around about $3,000 a month. I was thinking it was $3,000. Yeah. We talked about the first time, it was about $3,000. But that's a lot of money, but that's cheap money if you have something. Well, it, it's one of those things, if you need it, boy, it sure is nice to have it. Yeah, if you have a If you don't need it, it's like, well, we didn't waste no money. Well, yeah, but what if it did happen? If you have three minutes worth of tornadoes come through here or something, it, it, it paid for itself right off the bat. But I would like to go ahead and get approval tonight to be able to apply for that grant if we can get to where we are eligible for it. And yeah. we don't have to, the IT in the box is just more or less an, a, right. information on what they've got. We're I'm just, not we're saying not something anything, else. We're just may. applying for the grant. Right. Yeah, I make a we're trying to get to the point where we can. If, if for the cybersecurity grant. Make that motion. I'll second that. Okay, we have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify that. Aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Uh, the second item has to do with the tornado and everything as well. We set up eight or nine years ago this Beaver Dam Foundation. I don't know if you all remember that or not. It's a 501c3 mm -hmm. nonprofit. We set it up for, to help with some grants for the city, and we've helped a couple along the way. Well, uh, Ann called me today from the county 
treasurer's office and was just trying to peel me out. She said, do you have any idea of any kind of a, she said, they've got people, and, and I've had people contact me as well wanting to donate money, but they want to keep the money in Ohio County. They don't want it to go. Huh? I thought the chamber was doing that. I don't think they're the right kind. That's what she told me. They were a 501c5 or something, and it's not tax deductible. Right? I talked to Judge, uh, the judge, ex judge ex executive today. He thought, he thought that the Chamber of Commerce was there. Well, the judge called me himself about 4 o'clock. Oh, well, this was earlier than that, so he may have found out he can't do it. I was going to see. What time did I talk to the judge? Yeah, 4 o'clock. Yeah. So he found out probably came. I guess Ann told me she didn't think the chamber could because of the type of that were set up. But they've asked that there'd be something we would be willing to do, and I told them that's something I would. I didn't see a problem. And so I know the foundation, the foundation. The foundation has its own board and yeah. could do it. But I just felt like this is something that that to need to come to the city. Channel the money. Yeah. That, uh, what what that. normally is done, and I told David what, through the foundation, they normally. And somebody we get we have applied for grants on behalf of other organizations like Little League before they had theirs right. and the soccer I think one year, and we get to keep ten percent to help cover costs for bookkeeping and audits and stuff, which I have no problem with waiving that for this, but they just wanted something that was quick and easy where the money could get deposited, but it's real easy to write a check FEMA grants out. and everything else, won't there? Hmm? There'll be FEMA grants oh, and everything else. Oh, there'll be a lot of stuff. There? So it would be smarter to keep it in a place that does that. But this was something that people, well, I had a lady call me just as I was coming in. A, a friend of ours, her husband works and travels with construction and their company's wanting to make a $500 donation, but they want it in Ohio County. My sister wants to make that. Uh, they want it spent here, but they need that. And I, I get the 501c3, you need that. But I told her, I said, I'll call me back tomorrow and we'll see what we can do. You need that form of motion? And I think I'd like to have that in a form of motion I showing the city support of this with this foundation. I'll make that motion. I'll say. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Uh -huh. Opposed, same. That motion passes. And the other item I'd like to ask for permission to do is to negotiate with RBS Design Group, Architectural Group, their professional service so we can do this without a bid process, to put together the possibility of bidding restroom facilities on top of the hill at the amphitheater. I, I don't go we, with that. Okay. I, and the reason I say that is, the one thing we've had more problems with down to park is restrooms. We, we are cleaning them up, people complain about them more than anything. If we go to build them more restrooms, we're just gonna have more problems. I'm, I'm all for, if it's me, I'd concrete them all up. we get porta potties everywhere. Well, well, they're different than that and what the top of the hill, these would be blocked except for, for concerts. Yeah, these won't be open to the public. Only on concerts. It'd I be, don't know that that's going to make a difference. It'd be like the restrooms down at the amphitheater on the ground level. They were built to accommodate, with that facility was built, we built it to accommodate about 1,500 and we can accommodate 5,000 people on the hill, on the total in the facility. And we're running into more and more. We're spending a lot of money on porta pots, and we have some funds through this uh, SBOG grant that we might not have. So how much do they think it might cost us? Well, that's the problem. Right now, they're looking because they've had forty up to a forty percent increase in overhead and stuff. And I don't know because that we materials will do it right away. But they they're looking at a two hundred twenty-five dollars a square foot, two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. I feel like it can that's be done. Too much. I feel like it can be done a lot yeah. cheaper than that. When you start designing, because I don't think it needs to be. We want a regular fancy. toilet, not a gold platoon. Yeah. Well, and you know how they are, and he told me. But so all you're wanting somebody just to look at it to design it. Design. Not, we're not. We're not. No, no. We'd have it. to have a vote to bid on it and everything. That's separate. This is just oh, yeah. design. Yeah. But and we we're we're going to have to have it at some point. I feel like if we we've got some money now to get the design work done, and if we can bid it now and get good prices, that's fine. If not, we'll wait a year and try again. Uh, well, with mean, these funds, we've got time. If you want, my hand keeps crap up. If you just want to, to get a, somebody to give us a, a, a design, that's fine. Yeah, this would be for design, the design work of it. <coughs> I don't have a problem with that. Just to design. If we, I make a motion, we get a design project from RBNS. Yeah. RBNS. RBNS. That's who's their local. They, usually, well, they do all of them most uh, time. They, they have two there. young men that live here in town. Yeah that work there and they that have been very work. helpful and supportive. They gave us some prices on a lot of stuff down there, like the front of house, instead of using the rented tent, uh, it's 
a little pricey uh, booth for the tickets so we can have some protection from weather and stuff, not use tents, and a little pricey. And they did give me something that someday I would love to see, a pavilion type thing down in the lawn area to do something like kind of like the senior center does. You can accommodate about 200 people. And what do you mean by lawn area? Where's that the at? The grass out right there in front of the amphitheater between it and 231. Oh, okay. But you're looking at probably a million-dollar project with something like that. A what? A million? Oh, okay. That's I mean, it's not something we're going to do tonight. <laughs> but they were giving me – I was asking for some – it is, a shame. it is a shame because at one point, and I know me and you have talked about it probably more than any two other ones in here because it may be Larry, and we have wanted to build the big, you know, con uh, convention center, indoor convention center, you know, where you could have rodeos and stuff like that. And now it's getting so expensive, yeah. I don't know if we can afford to do that well, in the future. Well, all this started back in October yeah. before this, all this stuff started kind of going crazy. But the restrooms, I would like to get the – all we're asking for tonight is for design work on the restrooms. That's fine. I, I thought and I, then, I, that's uh, fine. Everything else will have to go after that. So did, I made the motion. I don't know if anybody second. second or not. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. All right. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Now we're <laughs> Now we're the whole, whole session. Oh, do I have to second that? <laughs> if I do, we have to second. I want to check on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move to go back in open session. Oh. I just wanted to go. Back in open session, uh, did have a closed session discussing the items on potential litigation, and uh, nothing, of course, no business was conducted at that time. So I guess right now, unless there's something else I'm not aware of, we entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Oh, sorry. Second. I've only got to do that for us. Can you hand those down to Larry, please? And where is Sandy? Yeah, where is Sandy? I haven't heard.